I'm Max. I'm Meg. From Santa Cruz, California. Got this 2020 Tacoma during the beginning of the pandemic when uh, everything camping was the rage. And kind of got connected with GFC because another friend bought one. It was something that was always sort of seen as like a down the road situation. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get one down the road. And it turned into, uh, oh, well like, why would I wait till I'm 50 to enjoy the truck and like make it sick for camping and like comfortable for all that and just do it now? Because, I mean, gotta just enjoy it now. <laughs> I'm along for the ride. <laughs> I like to over research things and previously I had a snug top fiberglass topper. Looked good. Um, off roading, it did slide a little bit and scratched and scraped up some paint on the sides. And I looked and saw that this is actually a little bit lighter, if not about the same weight as that topper, but it does a lot more. And after seeing some of the stuff that the GoFast guys have done with their trucks with the camper on it, it just felt kind of like a no brainer. Just kind of like, you don't need any bells or whistles. This is like plain and simple camping, storage, easy access to stuff. We surf, we bike, skateboard, and it's like just different stuff. So it's nice to be able to kind of access everything from all angles. We wanted like a camping setup that we wouldn't have to think about. Just throw your stuff in the back and go. Not have to be like, oh, what are all the logistics? How do we get this? How do we get this? Do we have a place for this? And the GoFast was kind of the no-brainer. I was the sole purchaser of the GoFast originally. <laughs> uh, and it's my truck, but it's kind of turned into our project. Uh, we saw the work that Vernacular Storage was doing. He does some really cool frame bags that fit in the triangles. And uh, we'll show you. We made four storage frame bags that we can put first aid kits, wipes in, bike locks. They're not easy. Max was like, I'll stay an extra week in Santa Cruz so that we can work on these. And I think it ended up being like a month or two of like just going and going and going. There's a front pocket with some mesh. My OCD and me made sure uh, the mesh is going all the right way. That's also why this took a long time. But yeah, great front pocket, top and side stitch. Ignore the mistakes. Another mesh pocket on the inside. These are the big ones. But we made four and more. And Max made a bunch of bags. Bunch of little organizational bags in between. Um, we did get, we have like a little bedding catch. This is like mostly Amazon and Home Depot stuff just to make it work and then uh made some special sheets made some special sheets <laughs> inspired by overland soft goods i'm plugging these companies that we didn't purchase anything set from because they did it first so everything in it is like it's not overbuilt it's not too crazy i'll say some of the stuff is like just fun and it's just a fun project to add little things to it piece by piece like i mean even just throwing paracord through and being like oh we have a paper towel roll we have toilet paper covers we have something that holds our bedding um, finding a place for the ladder was like a big thing for me because it was just like awkward shape and you want the ladder to be close to the door so just grabbing a bungee, roping that to the GFC, like clamps worked great. We were uh, not interested in wiring anything. It's just going back to the principle of like GFC being really simple and clean, it just felt like I was I would be mixing it up and making it more complicated if I was like drilling in switches and getting in like switch panels and all those. This does the job for me and I can strap it to anything. It's USB chargeable. They've got orange light. The orange light. For <laughs> bugs. And we flip one up into the tent. There's four of them. I think we got that from GTFO Overland. <laughs> Hardcore lighting. Bedrug is a game changer. I put Velcro on the back of it and I put my skate tool and my surf wax in here. Got a budget pocket knife and a Sharpie too for some reason. A lot of people have like talked about the Tacoma being a truck that's not a real truck. And I didn't buy a truck to haul dirt around or lumber because I'm not working in those type of fields. I bought it because I like to surf and it fits all the surfboards in it and I can camp in the back of it. The bed rug has kept it clean. It keeps dust out. It's softer on the knees. Also surfboards are immensely delicate so it's really nice to throw all my boards back there and not be worried about them with biking it's been a game changer because we just we each have our buckets in the back corners and we just open up the sides grab our helmets our gear change right there it's like all my helmet shoes pumps all that grease meg stuff 
it's been super easy. The Yeti cooler goes on this side so we can open up and get access to all of our food. Um, if we don't want to use the ladder, we just pull the Yeti forward, step up. The camper's been super sick. It's been really fun to kind of like make a joint journey out of it with Meg too. Uh, the Montana trip, she's the trip planner when it comes to everything. She does a really good job of it. Uh, we drove, I don't know how many hours. Utah was in the mix of the, uh, of the pickup. Utah mountain biking, got to Montana, met Ted and the gang got the camper. Yeah. I'm excited because my birthday tradition is to go to Big Sur every year, celebrate at the top, and this is the first year we'll have the Go Fast camper for it. And I don't know, that I think that's something special for us is going camping, whether it's with a group of friends or just the two of us. The goal, I think, as someone who is working full time and we both are busy, is we're not, we're not van lifers, we're not living out of it, but definitely could. Uh, that being said, the goal I think is like once a month yeah. to get out camping and see more of our state. Love going to Baja, love Big Sur, um, hoping to go to Tahoe in the summer. Mammoth. There's talks of Mammoth and Whistler for bike trips. Like you said, I'm a big planner. I think I get the grand ideas of where our camping can take us. Um, I really want to do a big Whistler trip and make the drive. Um, bring the bikes, bring some friends. I love the camper. I know it's his truck, but I refer to it as ours. It's the best. 